Um, so I'm on here answering one of most most frequently asked questions. I get this question almost every day, if not multiple times a day. So I'm finally getting on here at nearly 12 weeks pregnant <laughs> to tell you guys what I did differently the month that I finally got pregnant. Super quick backstory, two kids, they were both conceived through IVF. We wanted a third baby and um, we didn't want to pay for IVF. I didn't want to put my body through IVF again. Um, so my doctor decided to give me some letrozole, also known as Vimara. So I was taking five milligrams of letrozole, cycle day three to seven. So this is just a drug that basically makes you ovulate in a nutshell. Um, I was taking Clomid about eight years ago and it didn't work for me at all. So I didn't really have a lot of hope for this, but we'd give, we thought we'd give it a go. So um, we did four cycles of this and every cycle I ovulated with great levels. So um, it worked, which was great. The fourth month we actually got pregnant and, and still pregnant obviously. So that was really exciting. And everyone was like, but what did you do? What did you do different? And Every month I didn't do anything different except for that month which I actually did do something different. So of all these things, maybe they helped, maybe they didn't and it was just my month to get pregnant, I don't know. So I'm going to tell you guys everything that I did differently anyway and if you want to give them a go then so be it um, and you just never know. So there's no harm in trying. Um, worked for me, maybe it won't work for you. Like I said, maybe it's just coincidence, I don't know, but this is what I did. Let's get through all the details, starting from the beginning. So, um, got my period, took letrozole five milligrams, so two of these. Um, I took them cycle day three to cycle day seven of my cycle. And I started using um, my ovulation sticks, so I used these Easy Check ovulation kit ones, as well as um, just the cheapies off um, eBay just paid a couple of dollars for them. So I was doing them. I tested from Started testing on cycle day 12. I um all my previous cycles I started testing on cycle day 10 and they I was never getting positives that early So I just kind of saved myself a few tests and tested a bit earlier uh, later. Sorry So I started testing on cycle day 12. It was negative cycle day 13. It was negative cycle day 14 It was negative cycle day 15. I got my positive. So if you try to see Definitely use um, LH sticks. They were really good in helping me predict when I was going to ovulate. So um, I, from my previous cycles and the one that I conceived, I think that I ovulate about the 24 hour mark after getting a positive. They say any, anywhere between 12 and 36 hours, or 36 hours being like the average. Um, but I think I didn't quite make it that long before I ovulated. I think it was literally like within 24 hours of getting my positive, I was ovulating. So, we've got to ovulation day. Let's talk about the baby dancing, because people have been like, so what days did you baby dance? Like, how close, how far away? Um, I'm gonna admit, by the fourth month, I was like, so over. Okay, I had a visitor, and then ended up having to pick Roman up from school, so now I've got no idea what I was talking about. I think I was talking about baby dancing. So, everybody was asking me like, so what days did you baby dance before ovulation, on ovulation, after ovulation, um, and, by this cycle, I'd like had enough. <laughs> I know four cycles isn't very long, but I was just convinced I was never gonna get pregnant because I was like, I've never gone pregnant without IVF before. Um, there must be something wrong with me other than just, cause we'd also been diagnosed with unexplained infertility. Even when I was ovulating off the ovulation induction injections, I still wasn't getting pregnant. So by the fourth cycle, I was just like, I'm just not going to get pregnant. So to be honest, we didn't baby dance as much as we had done in the previous cycles because I was just like, this isn't going to work and like, you know, baby dancing by force, well not by force, but because you know you're ovulating, um, is not as fun. So, <laughs> um, so we baby danced the one, two, three, four, four days prior to ovulation and that was it. So cycle day 12, cycle day 13, cycle day 14, cycle day 15, ovulated on cycle day 16. So yeah, the four days before ovulation, we baby danced. So in my two week wait, and this is what most people really want to know about. So, um, well, for the baby dancing, um, not everybody needs lubricant, but I, years and years and years ago, I heard about Conceive Plus, and I heard that it can help with like, um, you know, like help the sperm get to where it needs to go. So, so I bought this stuff years ago because I thought to myself, if there's something wrong with like my cervical mucus or something like that, hopefully this will get past that barrier. 
So um, this is just a tube. So this is um, Conceive Plus. There are other brands out there, but I've used Conceive Plus. So that's a tube. And these ones here are like a little applicator. So that's one that you kind of put up there and squeeze it and it puts it all the way up there. So um, we had used this in one other of our cycles, but um, this time around in the fourth cycle, I was like, used it every baby night. So um, if that helped a lot, I don't know. And my two week wait, I also took it's what people call baby aspirin. I didn't couldn't find anything called baby aspirin, so I just found normal aspirin. Um, and it said to take um, 80 milligrams a day from what I read on the internet. And I'm not one to go and take drugs like without my doctor's you know knowledge and stuff like that. I'm just not into that. But um, I had a look at the you know the pamphlet in there, and I thought to myself, you know what, I'll just do it for the two week wait. Um, and a few days before ovulation, I think it was. Um, so this one is 100 milligrams per tablet. So I just took the one tablet a day. So just normal aspirin. Um, apparently this helps with implantation and things like that. So I just gave it a go. Whether that actually helped or not, I don't know. Like it could have been a number of these things that could have helped or like I said, could have just been coincidence. I included the pineapple in my diet in the two week wait. So I just had pineapple, just fresh pineapple, just ate it as it was. There was no way I was, I was gonna cut out the core and just eat the core. Cause I did that with my IV cycle of Roman and it was so, horrible it like got stuck in my teeth i couldn't get it out i was getting toothpick it was awful i was just like just gonna eat this pineapple normally and actually enjoy the actual pineapple-y part as well as the core so i did that i included it in my dinner and i just ate it um, remember but yeah so i just did the pineapple the um baby aspirin use conceive plus track my ovulation with lh strips and um yeah i didn't do any temping or anything that cycle and um, I ended up getting my BFP at, I want to say, eight days past ovulation. Um, it was very faint. I didn't, I almost didn't believe it. So at nine days past ovulation, I definitely believed it. And I was like, wow, that line at eight DPO was correct. So um, I, can, I still can't believe it. Like when, you know, only a few weeks out of the first trimester and I'm still in denial, really. I think the main thing with getting pregnant is timing it right. Timing is really crucial in getting pregnant because the egg only lasts about 12 hours where sperm can last a few days and you know you want the sperm to be in that area already before the egg actually travels down because you know like I said egg has 12 hours so when it's traveling down you want sperm to already be there for the meeting to happen. So that's why the three days leading up to ovulation is and the day of ovulation is the optimal time to be getting pregnant so baby dance on those days um and to try and track your ovulation there's many apps out there um plus the lh strips which you're not meant to use if you've got pcos but they seem to work absolutely fine for me so i don't know strange things that aren't meant to work for me work so that's really odd um i hope that may have helped um but, you know, it's it's a frequently asked question, so I just really wanted to hurry up and make this video and let you guys know what the things that I did differently. Um, I don't think I did anything particularly special. A lot of these things people already know about when they're trying to conceive anyway. But I just went, we went all out in that fourth cycle because I was like, I had enough. I will, honestly, after that fourth cycle, I was ready to just give it a break. And then, bam, we got pregnant in that fourth cycle. <gasps> oh my gosh, I, can, I, I can't believe it. As someone who went through IVF three times, I cannot believe it. So, um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful. Comment if you want to and subscribe if you haven't already to continue watching our um, pregnancy with baby number three. And if you have any questions about any of the products I've shown you, then please put them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as soon as possible, as always. Alright guys, thank you and catch you in my next vlog whenever that may be.